I, I'm noticing these crappies are bigger than last year and year before that they're definitely bigger than that so that's always a good sign keeping these lakes healthy let's get back down there oh man see so immediately have oh god this is a good one this is a good one dude oh oh yeah dude this this is dude this is a big bluegill oh my god oh my god dude oh my god hey yeah oh, did you shoot that yesterday oh yeah this morning damn boy what's going on guys welcome back to another one um as you can see we're uh we're european mountain stuff no i'm just kidding we're not doing that but we're actually stopping here to pick up my boy ryan and then i'm with the smacking boys as well you guys see me doing that we're gonna do a little bit of ice fishing today morning morning you about to uh, lay the beat down on some fish oh yeah colin you wish you were chasing heavies right now uh no but we're doing some ice fishing we're gonna check some more ice it's early ice I'm um, not really even sure where we're going. We're gonna check one of my honey holes and hopefully it's uh, loaded up and nice safe ice. This video is gonna be brought to you by Carl's Bait and Tackle. If you guys don't know what Carl's Bait and Tackle is, it is the best place on the internet to get fishing stuff, ice fishing stuff, you know, clothes, open water stuff, anything you need, Carl's got it. And we're actually gonna be do using some of their stuff that I just ordered uh, today on the ice, which you guys will see in a little bit, but it'd mean a lot to me if you guys went and checked it out. So we are going to pack everything up, head out to the lake, and I'll see you guys out there. Eventually. Oh God, dude. Look at all of them right there. That's Ryan going down, and that's the, that's the fish on the bottom right there. Hey. Let's go. Ooh, there you go. Little gilly. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we made it out here. As you can see, Ryan's already uh, whacking the fish. This is gonna be a different video. The last few videos that you guys have seen, we've just been absolutely greasing the crappies. And there are crappies in here, but I like to come to this honey hole because there are some big bluegills here. I mean, I've caught some 10 inches here, which is very respectable in the bluegill world. So that's gonna be interesting. Um, the boys are out here, we're all filming videos. This is about to get pretty good, but I'm gonna get rigged up, show you guys what I'm using, give you a little bit of tips, get the garment out and start hammering. All right, I am going to finally get my rod. I found a big school, so I wanna get over there and start fishing on it. But you know, we gotta get the, the old smoke pole out. Today, I am gonna set up an iFish Pro, but I'm gonna catch some fish first. We are gonna be using the old Royal Flush by Frostbite and this awesome tungsten jig. In a couple videos from now, I'm gonna show you guys all the new products that Frostbite got. This is what we're using right now, but they're coming out with some really cool stuff, so stay on the lookout for that. All right, so I'm gonna take this out and uh, we're gonna start out using the old Dragonfly. It's kind of like a clear whitish color. And I mean, there's so many fish down there, it doesn't really matter what you use, but we're gonna see if this does the old trick. We're gonna thread this son of gun on there, just like this, oh yeah. And then you wanna make sure your jig is sitting horizontal in the water column, okay? You don't want it going vertical like a bag of weenies or a glizzy. I'm gonna walk over here and see if I can catch a fish. Grab the old camera here, walk over to my hole. And yeah, there's, they're, they're still pretty loaded here. There was a bigger school, but uh, it definitely went down a little bit because I took too much time. All right, I got the old Garmin cam for you guys because you guys love it in the comment section. And I'm gonna drop down now. See, I got some under me. These are all fish right here. And then you see me dropping down right there. Stop it right here. See if these fish behind me want to, uh, some of the action. I got one, it looks like, coming at me right now. Got a couple. These fish should be pretty aggressive because they're in a big school. Oh, he, he nicked me. He nicked me. Come on. Come on, guy. I need my first bluegill of the year. There we go. Ah, is this going to be a bluegill? If it's doing circles, it's a bluegill. And this is a bluegill. Little guy. I know there's big ones in here, though. So I'm going to put this guy back in here. I don't think I'm going to keep any fish today. Maybe in another video I'll keep them. But for right now, I'm going to release everything. They're getting a free pass today. And immediately, just look at these fish on me. Come on. Come on. Watch your rod tip when the fish are on you. Go up a little bit. 
actually zoom it in for you guys a little bit. Just so you can see, there we go. You guys can see a little better now. Look at this one. Look at this one. That's definitely a bluegill. It looks like a good one all over me. There he is. This is definitely the... Oh, this is going to be a good one. Ooh, yep. That's a nice crappie. What the heck? I'm trying to catch bluegills for you guys today, but I can't stay away from these crappies. Dude, look at that. That's like a that's like a 12 inch crappie right there. Holy cow! Definitely the biggest one of the year for me. I'm gonna throw him on the tape measure, just uh just to, just to see here. All right, 12 and a half slabberoni. You're gonna get the free pass today, guy. Oh, see you later. Got the GoPro wet. I mean, I got a I got a big school down there. I hope these are these big crappies. As much as I want to catch bluegills, you guys know me and the crappies. I mean, those those marks on the right side, those look pretty dang big. Let's just see if we can get one here to commit. Come on. One on me. There we go. I probably had him hooked for a little bit. This is feeling like a... No oh, wow. What is up with all these crappies here today, dude? I thought there's big gills. He choked that, man. Absolutely choked it. I'm going to open this guy back up. Take it out. Nice fish. Get back down there. And I mean, these plastics are very durable, as you could tell. Like I've already caught like three fish, and like nothing has really affected it. So we love that. Oh God, Ryan's just hammering behind me as well. Here's one all over me. Oh, right out of his mouth, dude! Holy cow! First time ice fishing. Look at all these fish by me, dude. Look at all these fish by me. There's one right there. Um, this feels like a crop. No, it's a bluegill. It's, oh yeah. There's my first decent bluegill of the day. Not bad. If you can see on the screen right now, there's an absolute behemoth down there, dude. Behemoth, whatever that is. I'm gonna try to get back down there and get, catch that one. Nice bluegill of the day. Let him go. And look, look at the school underneath me, guys. It's ridiculous. Come on, come on, come on. Let's get down. Let's get down. Yeah, look at look at all these, dude. Oh my god. Oh my god, look at this. Look at this one. Look at this one. Oh. Come on. There we go. There's another one. Oh yeah, another crappie. I'm honestly surprised with all these crappies here today. It's a little bit different than I'm used to at this spot. But oh wow. Yeah. I want to be surprised if there's some tanks in there this year. I think the year class in this lake is definitely starting to pick up a little bit. I'm noticing these crappies are bigger than last year and year before that, they're definitely bigger than that. So that's always a good sign, keeping these lakes healthy. Let's get back down there. Oh man, see so immediately have... Oh God, this is a good one. This is a good one, dude. Oh, oh yeah, dude, this, this is... Dude, this is a big bluegill. Oh my god. Oh my god, dude. Oh my god. What a freaking dinner plate. Oh my goodness. That is the biggest crop of the year far. So wow, I can't talk. That is the biggest crop of the year for me so far. What the heck? This is a big one. Let's see what we got here for lengthwise. Definitely the tallest one of the year. Oh my god. 13 and a half. 13 and a half inch crappie. Ryan, how do you feel about that? Oh, all right, we're putting him back down. That's too big to keep. I'm not keeping fish right now anyways, but oh my God, dude, that, that got me going. All right, let's get back down there. Cause if there's 13 inch crop, 13 and a half inch crappies right here, I mean, that's insane. Look at that one on me already. There we go. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. What the heck? I'm sorry guys, I thought this was gonna be a bluegill video, but it's slowly turning into a crappie video. Like, insane, dude. Come on. Yep, there we go. There we go, oh yeah. Dude, this Royal Flush, the tip on this thing, is just so sensitive and i can see all those tiny little bites like that one that was just unreal guys go check out this rod in the link because it's definitely gonna be worth your time buying if you're investing in a rod going back down going back down this is just i'm, I'm having so much fun right now i love ice fishing guys oh 
come on that's a big one on the bottom right coming up from right now this is gonna be big this is gonna be big there we go yep yep that's a good one i think oh yeah he's digging nice job, dude. oh yeah oh my goodness dude that's what i'm talking about Put him back down i mean this is just a clinic right now absolute clinic i was hoping for a 10 inch gill that still should be the goal today a 10 inch gill i'd be happy oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah come on you're all over me guy all over me there we go oh my goodness dude dude what 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 where did all these crappies get here god i've said that 500 times in this video but uh i'm gonna keep saying it god this is just like a dream well it's not an aaron weeb 16 inch dream school but like still this is a, this is a pretty nice school right here oh man i mean i'm just dropping down and getting whacked immediately like every time oh come on look at this school look at this school oh man look at oh my god look at him racing this is a big fish right here oh it took it off his mouth no 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 did you see how big that fish was on the live scope i mean you can't even see my jig right now there we go another crappie look at that look at that look at that look at that look at this look at that oh yeah oh yeah slay fest dude I know, I'm sorry. God, dude. Oh, oh, he's gonna get off by himself. That's what you like. Ooh, that looks like a good one on the bottom left there. I mean, that one just up at me. I didn't even know I had him for a little bit. God, dude. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, that school seemed to have left a little bit. I mean, there's bigger marks on the bottom. Well, it does seem like the whole school is gone. I think I am going to reel up, change plastics, and I'm going to set up my, my iFish Pro. See if I can get a bigger fish, a bigger predator fish, because I've never caught a fish on that yet. I just bought it, and it's time to set it up. All right, let's set up this iFish Pro here. We got to get all the essentials to do this. Here we go. And we're going to go over here and do it. All right, so we are going to set this iFish Pro up. We're going to get our hook out here. So basically, this is my iFish Pro rod. This is a 38 medium true grit frostbite rod. As you can see here, I got a reel on here with, I believe, I put eight pound test on this just in case there's some big fish. And we got a hook right here, a split shot up there about, I don't know, eight inches up there or so. And then this actually comes with the iFish Pro. This is what holds it onto the flat. So we got the iFish Pro here. You're gonna take this apart and get the arm out. Just like that, it swings out, and then you swing this arm out like that. And then you undo this nut right here, and you can set it to different lengths of the rod. So I think this rod should be good, probably right there. So we're gonna tighten her down. And then we reach into our bags of goodies. I decided to go smaller baits today because last time I was out here, well, last time all the boys and I were out here, we were not catching any of the fish, and we think it's because we were using too big a bait. So that's why we decided to go with just some fat heads today. Just a little smaller presentation. Pour these guys out. Okay, so we're gonna find a good looking minnow right here. Take the little nets so your hands don't get cold. Grab one like so, and I like to take my hook. You can use a treble hook, but I'm using a single hook, just a circle hook. And my hands are freezing, I'm sorry. You hook them right underneath the dorsal fin, just lightly, just like that, okay? And then we're gonna put them inside of our hole. We're gonna make sure we keep our red thing up here with us with our bobber stopper. 
And then we're just gonna let some line out and get this guy about, uh, I would say a foot off the bottom. Two, I'm gonna go two feet off the bottom probably today. We're gonna do that and see if that works. That should probably be good. So now that we have our minnow at the correct place where we want it, we are going to take our flag right here, okay? We're gonna put it underneath this little thing right here. Take this red tab, attach it to our red loop, if I can grab it. Attach this little loop thing to our red stopper, and I'm gonna put it on the, the lightest trigger probably, just in case um, we get some false flags here. There's a bunch of fish down there right now. And we're gonna let it sit right there, okay? You take out the flasher, and you put this guy actually over the hole, all right? Put it over the hole, and you wanna make sure that your line goes through the little slit. There we go. This is all set up now. So when a fish takes it, that flag's gonna pop up. You leave your bail open. You run over here, you see it strip in line. You grab it, make sure your line is, or your drag is set. And then you just reel until you feel a little bit of pressure then give her a send. But that's what we got going on now. We're just gonna wait for this flag to go off and hopefully it's a big one. We're just killing some time right now until the bass or pike or walleye or muskie or sturgeon start biting my iFish Pro. So back to the crappy grind. I'm using a flasher though. This is a blast from the past for me. Haven't done this in a while. Ooh. Little gilly. Love that. Here's all the blue gales. There he is. That one. Oh, you can go back. My guys out here killing it. We're waiting for my freaking iFish Pro to go up, but it's not happening. So we're sitting here catching all these fish. I mean, you can see these. Look how big these fish look. Like I'm thinking those are really big crappies right there on the bottom. Ryan's going down right there. Hopefully he's going to whack one. Oh, come on. Show me something, Ryan. Oh, oh my God. You taking off, Scott? There he is. Yeah. Oh, God, yeah. Clapping him. Oh. All right, I finally have a tip up. Um, this has been a freaking all day process. I stopped filming and just started catching fish because this was just getting annoying. And I mean, you guys don't want to watch a thousand fish catch episode. We were just fishing for fun. But finally, my iFish Pro is up and we're going to check it real quick. Oh God, it's not really moving right now. So that's kind of weird. We're going to take this out right there. We're going to move this guy right here. Oh yeah, it's, it's taking line right now. It's taking line right now, boys. Okay. We're going to close the bale here. Check the old drag. Maybe tighten it a little bit. I'm just gonna start reeling down until I feel something. There we go. We got something on here. Doesn't feel like a pike or anything like that. Oh, there, there's some head shakes. Okay, okay. Ooh, oh, dude, Colin, it's a nice crappie. Is it? Yeah, yeah, it's a good one. Let's go. Dude, I thought I was gonna catch like a bass or something out here today on this, but we got a freaking crappie, man. What the hell? It took all day to get one, but finally the iFish Pro produced. I'm not even mad about it. That's a good one right there. I think though, um, enough fish catches for this episode, so probably gonna go check out the pile real quick that the boys have been accumulating and then catch up with you guys in a sec. Whew, ladies and gentlemen. That, uh, that was fun catching the iFish Pro fish. Oh God, the boy's been hammering. Oh, hell yeah. Look, perfect eaters. We threw back all the big ones, but we kept some for fish fry. Ryan, what up? is your dad gonna be happy if the fish would bring them? Yes, he is. He's gonna be very happy. Look at them all. Krusty, what up? how'd you think of today's outing? How'd it go? Oh boy. Let me tell you, my arms are sore. My back's sore. Everything's sore from just catching and catching and catching. I had to sit down here on this nice Tempur-Pedic. 
lay down, take a nap. We whacked him again, bro. We whacked him. You might be my good luck charm. We're on a good streak. Maybe it's just early ice. Maybe it's this little uh, fishing duo we got going on. That could be it, dude. Every time we go out, we clap, huh? That's true. Colin, how was your like fifth time ever ice fishing? It's fun. I'm kicking the fish around, getting them in a nice pile here for pictures. And then, yeah, I caught like 10 fish today. I did catch the I did catch the biggest fish of the day, too. I caught two pike and a bass. Mm. Hey, I caught a pike. If you want to see... What? what no. If you want to see uh, me catch a pike, head over to Smackham's channel. Yeah. Holy hard plug on the channel. Definitely go, don't go look at that. that hey, that's I just, caught a pike that's too a, on that's Smackham. A I caught a pike waste too on Smackham. All right, well, we're starting to fog up and stuff like that because it is doing a little bit of raining. But that's where we're going to end today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I absolutely put the smack down on some fish. Caught a 13 and a half inch crappie. Biggest one for me so far this year. We're going to have to keep track this year on all my big fish. And that is going to tally it up for the crappies on my part so far. And yeah, I hope you guys are looking forward to ice because I know I am. This is just the beginning and it's going to get even better better i'm having a lot of fun and if you guys have any ideas like video wise drop those comments down below let me know um whether it's challenge videos who to go with what target species to go after i want to hear those so drop them down below also remember to go check out carl's bait and tackle and frostbite carl's bait and tackle also sells frostbite stuff so you're in luck and they sell the gas go check it out and thank you so much for watching see you guys on the next one